I'm Bishop for uh, a great deal of the area of Shropshire, and uh, Telford being a significant part of the area that I serve. And um, I know from my past experience of rock conversations how transforming they can be for communities. So um, to hear that we were, you know, and to be part of the conversation around establishing this this evening has been really important. And to just be able to gather people together to, who are of a common mind to be working together for the common good has got to be a blessing. So I'm delighted to be here this evening to be part of that. When I was a vicar in Manchester, I served in Moss Siding in the city of Manchester, and we had one of the early rock conversations in Manchester. And um, what really came out of that was an increase in collaborative working across different community groups, with the police particularly, that was absolutely transforming for my own community. And over a 10 year period, because I was working there for 15 years, I saw a significant drop in gun crime, an increase in um, opportunities for young people and increased life chances for young people in the community, helping them to find alternatives to the lifestyles that were pressing at their doors all the time. So I've seen what this can achieve and therefore the opportunity to be involved in Telford. Absolutely. I think during COVID and post COVID, we are really aware, particularly of pressures on young people and on families. And um, although people might think of Shropshire as being a kind of leafy part of the country, it's a beautiful county, but we have significant issues with, uh, for young people's mental health, but also around things like county lines. And I've been at the other end of county lines activity in Manchester, and I'm seeing that spreading out into communities that people wouldn't expect to see those activities in. And it is, to a great extent, hidden, obviously, because by its very nature it is, and uh, helping people to wake up to what's on the doorstep. And also the statistics around domestic abuse that we were discussing earlier, obviously that's something that's increased, and we know it has during lockdowns. It has been a dangerous time for people who are living in those kinds of circumstances. And everything that we can do together as a community to support people, uh, particularly young families, young people, is absolutely got to be a blessing to our communities.